Hello toddler friends, it's Miss Kathy here at Sturgis Public Library. Today is Wednesday, May 12th, and we are going to, I'm crooked, oh my goodness, straighten this out a little bit. We are going to get ready to have a fun day. Are you ready to come all aboard? Let's start with our hello song. Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm probably a little bit late, but that's okay. We are going to go on a ride on a special kind of transportation. Have you ever heard a sound that goes It's a train. Today is all about trains because last, what was it? Saturday, Saturday, May 8th, last Saturday was National Train Day. And trains are so much fun. Have you ever been on a train ride? Have you gotten to go for a train ride before? I've been on one train a couple of times. Here in the Black Hills in a place called Hill City, there's the 1880 train. And if you've never gone on a train ride, Go on the 1880 train at Hill City. It takes you through the Black Hills. You get to see all the beautiful trees. It'll take you one way, turn around and come back. And you get to ride on an actual train. Well, I have a lot of songs, a lot of rhymes about trains today. So we're going to learn how to say train in sign language. And I have to look at my sheet because I didn't practice it. It says to sign the word train, Take both hands, extending the index and middle fingers. Take your dominant hand and rub the fingers slowly down the finger, same fingers on the non-dominant hand. It's like your fingers are a train going down a pair of tracks. So I'm gonna take both my hands and I want these two fingers, my pointer finger, my index finger, my pointer finger, my index finger. This is my dominant hand. My right hand is the one I use a lot. So this hand is going to go sideways. And these are my train tracks. These two fingers make my train tracks. These two fingers on the hand I use all the time, my dominant hand, are my train. And I'm gonna go down my tracks. And this says train. So if you wanted to tell somebody you wanted to go on a train ride, you would say train. Can you do that? Do you have your pointer finger? Is that your index finger? Middle finger? Get those two fingers. One is your train tracks, because you have two fingers out, there's the tracks. The other is your train, here we go. Train. Very good, you just said train in sign language. Well, I'm going to start with a song, and I think I'm going to stand up and move back I'm not sure I'm far enough back though. I might have to squat down. Maybe I'll just bring my chair back this way. See how much I can do from here. You are going to recognize this song. It's about a bus that goes all around the town, but we are going to be a train. Can you start your wheels on your train going? Here we go. The wheels on the train go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the train go round and round, all through the town. So I'm looking at my song, I realized I didn't need to go this far back, but that's okay. We got our wheels going and now the engine on the train. The engine on the train goes chug, 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 chug. chug. Chug, 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 the engine on the train goes chug, 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 all through the town. Now there is a bell on the train getting ready to tell you it's time to go. The train's gonna get ready to go. The bell on the train goes ding, 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 ding. The bell on 
when the train goes ding, 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 all through the town. Now the whistle is going to come to a crossing and let you know, stop, here I come. The whistle goes toot, toot. Here we go. The whistle on the train goes toot, toot, toot. Toot, toot, toot. Toot, toot, toot. The whistle on the train goes toot, toot, toot. All through the town. Well, we're going to keep our train going. Here's where I'm going to stand up and move my chair. And we're going to become a train. I'm going to switch, squish down so you can see me. We're going to make our train go. Got your wheels. Here comes the choo-choo train puffing down the track. Now he's going forward. Chairs in the way. Now he's going back. Now the bell is ringing. Ding, ding, ding. Now the whistle blows. What a lot of noise he makes everywhere he goes. Is your train going? Is it making lots of noise? Let me get sitting back down here again. Oh, trains. Choo, choo, ding, ding. They can be kind of noisy, but there's so much fun to take a ride in. And did you know there are several different kinds of trains? How do they run? Do you take the train to the gas station and go up to the gas pump and fill it up with gas? Do you put gas in the gas? Have you ever seen a train do that? Come up to the gas station? No, I've never seen a train do that. Let me see. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting way ahead of myself because I got another train story to tell you first that I'm going to do on the flannel board. But think about that. What makes a train move? Does it go to the gas station and fill up with gas? We're gonna find out. First, I wanna do my flannel board story about the trains. This is called Clickety Clack. And we're gonna see how many train cars we get put on the board. Clickety Clack, Clickety Clack. Here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety Clum, Clickety Clum. Here comes engine number one. Engine number one, the engine goes ch ch ch, making the train go. So I'm gonna put my engine number one up on the track. He's got a coal car behind him right there. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here comes the train on the railroad track. Clickety clum, clickety clum. Here comes engine number one. Clickety clue, clickety clue. Here comes, what color is this train? This piece of the train. Here comes the orange car. You're right. Number two. I'm going to add that right there. Clickety clack, or not clickety clack, clickety clee, clickety clee. Here comes the, what color is this one? Yes. Yellow car, number three. We're just gonna make him go down underneath, pretend that our train tracks are going around. Now we have one, we're gonna count that as one, two, three. Clickety clore, clickety clore. Here comes, what color is this train car? Very good, it's green. Here comes the green car, number four. Okay, one, two, three, four. What number's next? Five. Clickety Clive, clickety Clive. Here comes the, what color train? It's the blue train car, number five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go farther. The next number is what? Clickety, 
clicks, clickety clicks. Here comes the, what color? Oh yes, here comes the green car. Wait a minute, they just have the green car. This isn't green, tell me what color this is. Oh yes, purple. So, clickety click, clickety click, here comes purple car number six. And he's gonna have to go down here. Our train is gonna snake around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what number's next? <gasps> number, yes, yeah, seven! Let me see. Clickety clevin, clickety clevin. Here's the red, red caboose. Number seven. And guess what? If the caboose is coming, we're at the end of the train. Because the caboose always brings up the end of the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train down the railroad track. Actually, it should be going this way. The caboose following this car and this car and this car and this car. And there's the engine. Clickety clack, clickety clack. There goes the train down the railroad track. Choo, choo. Goodbye, it's saying. Let's count all these cars again. We're gonna count these two as one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Can we count up to seven on our fingers? Can you do that with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. You've gotten to the number seven today with our trains. Okay, I want to go back to my question. What makes a train run? Do they pull the train up to the gas station and put gas in it? No, they don't do it that way. There are several different kinds of trains and I found out that the first Train locomotives were steam engines that ran by the fire that heated the coal under a boiler full of water. So if this is the coal car, I'm gonna take the rest of these guys off. If this is my engine with the coal car behind it, the coal is the gas. That's part of the gas that makes the steam train run. So they would have a fire going and they put coal on top of the fire. No, they'd put coal in a bin that was on top of a fire and there'd be water and the steam would make the train go. So the first trains were steam locomotives. They were replaced by diesel engines. And now there are electric mo locomotives. My goodness. Have you ever watched your mom if she's heating up water to make something, maybe she's gonna make macaroni or maybe she's just boiling water to make hot chocolate or something. And when you see the steam, when it gets really hot, the steam will come up out of the pan. That is what made the steam locomotives move. And I have a poem about some steam locomotives. And I'm going to need my tape. And I'm going to start with the orange one, very good. I'm so glad you could tell me it was orange. I'm gonna put this up on the board. Here is steam engine, steam locomotive number one. Here's my next one. Can you tell what color it is? It is blue. It's kind of a purplish blue. And look at the steam coming out of the engine, out of the smokestack. So now we have one, two, I have an orange and a blue, and next I have this steam locomotive. Yes, it is the purple one. No, it's not purple. Oh, my colors are getting all mixed up today. What color is this one? <gasps> yellow, yes, the yellow steam engine, steam locomotive is gonna go up. So now I have one, two, three, but I have another one. I don't have just three steam locomotives, three steam engines. I have number four. Number four is green. Let me put this one right here. 
They got their steam all going, so they'll be ready to puff on down the track. Here is number five. Here is my, what color? Yes, purple. I won't be confused now. This is my purple one. Okay. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four, five. Five little steam engines chugging down the track. Choo, 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 choo. You got yours chugging down the track? Choo, choo. One hit a bump. Let's take the orange one. And he went smack. Oh, not a good thing for a steam engine to hit a bump. That leaves us with one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four little steam engines chugging down the track. Choo, 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 choo. One took a wrong turn. This guy's gonna go the wrong way instead of that way. He's gonna go this way. Choo, 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 choo. And he didn't come back. Oh no, we started out with five. Now we have one, two, three. Three little steam engines chugging down the track. One stopped to talk to a little boy, chasing it from the back. The boy was trying to catch up to the train. The train stopped. He's talking to him. There they go. Now there are how many train steam locomotives left? One, two. Two little steam engines chugging down the track. One got sleepy and stopped for a nap. He's gonna just lay on down and take a nap. Oh, that poor tired little engine. It must have been hard chugging up and down the railroad track. How many steam engines do we have left? We have our blue one. I have number one. One little steam engine chugging down the track. He got to the depot and was glad to be back. He'd worked so hard chugging up and down the railroad tracks, pulling all of his cargo, that when he got home, he was ready to be put away for the day. And now we have Zero, big fat zero, no more steam engines on our track. Well, I think it would be fun to be able to see all the different steam truck, steam engines, the diesel engines, the electric engines. And you know what? There are trains that are in subways that go underground. There are trains that go really fast. You could get on the Amtrak train and go really fast. Maybe someday, if you haven't had a train ride yet, you'll get to go on a train ride. Well, right now we are going to go on another train ride. This is engine, engine number nine, and we're gonna do some moving with our next rhyme. Engine, engine number nine. Can you do the number nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Engine, engine number nine coming down the Chicago line. If the train goes off its tracks, do you want your money back? Yes. No. Maybe so. I don't know. Let's try it again. Engine, engine number nine coming down the Chicago line. If the train goes off its tracks, do you want your money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. It hasn't scared me yet. So let's go again. Nine. Engine, engine number nine coming down the Chicago line. If the train goes off its tracks, do you want your money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Mmm, when it starts going faster, it might get a little bit uncomfortable. Let's see if we can do it really fast. 
Are you swaying back and forth with me when we do this? We're gonna go really fast. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Engine, engine number nine going down the Chicago line. If the train goes off the tracks, do you want your money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> you can go as fast as you want. Or go as slow as you want. It's your train ride. Well, I have to show you the train books we have at the library. We have, you probably know Thomas the Train. Here's a Thomas the Train. Go, train, go. And then we have Thomas and the school trip. I know I have more Thomas the Train books, but guess what? They're checked out. Thomas the Train is a very popular train. Then if you wanted to learn about those trains, the steam engines, the diesel engines, the electric engines, here's a book all about trains. And on the back is a picture of the Amtrak train that goes really fast, taking you places. You could read that book, find out about trains. Hello, freight train. This is an easy reader, it's a level one book. If you're just learning some words, I know you're toddlers and maybe someone's reading to you, you could start learning the words with a train book. And then Lego City. It says mystery on the Lego Express. Have you ever built a train out of Legos? It might be kind of fun to try that. See what kind of a train you could make. This train is called music or window music. You could make all the sounds the train makes. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. And what sounds would you hear? Oh, these kids are on the train track. They're going to take a shortcut. Oh, I hope the train doesn't come down the track. I hope they can get off of it. Have you ever walked on the train tracks? Do not do it unless you are with an adult. You have to be careful around trains. Here's one freight train. And look it, can you tell? Do you see all the smoke from the steam engine? on the freight train. This one, this train is carrying zoo animals. One, two, three to the zoo. They're all on train cars going to the zoo. I wonder what kind of animals they have. My little train. <laughs> there are stuffed animals on this train. This is a book you might have at home. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library, if you're part of that. You might have this train book at home already. If not, you can come to the library and get it. Oh, chugga chugga choo choo. Another fun train book and I have one more. Oh, all aboard the dino train. Oh, look at, I wonder if, if, I wonder if one of these dinosaurs is the engineer on this train. It would be kind of fun to find out. Do dinosaurs ride trains? Did they have trains when the dinosaurs were around? I'm not sure. In your grab and go bag today, you are going to get, it looks like this, it's the white bags because there's some big stuff in here. You will get our rhymes, our songs, all about the trains. And it shows you again how to say train in sign language, make your tracks, make your train, train. So you can remember how to say train in sign language. It will tell you the list of all those books I said I have at the library about trains. There it is. You are also going to get some ideas about train books on YouTube. We have Pete the Cat's Train Trip, The Good Night Train, Steam Train, Dream Train, and Freight Train by Donald Cruz. You could, uh, it was really fun to watch that one being read aloud on, the, on YouTube. And where do st steam trains sleep at night? This is a cute book that tells you all the different kinds of books you could, or trains you could see. So make sure you check out that one. Where do st steam trains sleep at night? That's a tongue twister for me. Where do steam trains sleep at night? And find out all the other kinds of trains. And here it shows you, I'm combining, doing a combination of these two pictures to make your craft today. You're going to make a Thomas the Train craft. And when you get done, maybe you want to make a train station at your house. 
If you have a little table, you could put some paper over top of it and draw some train tracks on there. Get out your blocks, get out your Legos, get out your Duplos and make your own little train station. Some other ideas, oh, how many of you have a laundry basket at home? Take the clothes out of it, you get in it, have mom or dad pull you along and you can be in the train car while they're the engine. Choo choo! And you can always put any kind of filler in your sensory bin and make your trains. And then there's some cute ideas for some fun snacks. They've cut the sandwich into a train. And here they've cut fruit. It's bananas and berries and, and pineapple, watermelon. You can make some fun train fruits. Let me show you how to put together. I'm gonna put these back in the bag. Let me show you how to put together your Thomas the Train because you're going to get lots of parts. You're gonna get the blue paper. You're going to get a long red rectangle. I'm going to put the long red rectangle on first. So I'm gonna put some glue. I'm gonna put it on the table. You won't be able to see me doing it. But you know how to put glue on things, right? I'm gonna put some glue on my red rectangle. Can you see it? And then I'm gonna put my red rectangle all the way on the bottom of my blue paper. There. Now I've got the start of my train. You're going to find two larger black circles and you're going to put them on the red rectangle on the bottom. You'll put one on this side and you'll put one on this side and you've got to start on your Thomas the Train. You will have a Thomas the Train face. Now, you can color it. You can color his mouth. You can color his eyes. You can color his whole front if you want to. If you have a silver or a gray crayon and you want to color it, color your Thomas face. I didn't color mine, but color your Thomas face and then you're going to put glue all around the back of it. I'm going to put some glue on mine. I love the purple glue, so you can see I've got glue on there. And then there is a little paper plate. I want you to glue your Thomas face onto your paper plate. Just like that. I wanted Thomas's face to be able to stand out on the picture, so that's why it's on the paper plate. Now you're gonna take your glue and you are going to put glue all around the edge of this paper plate. I gotta see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I might be doing this wrong. Because then you wanna put your Thomas face above the big, long red rectangle. I'm gonna put it down here a little bit. Put it on there. And now my Thomas's face is standing out. You probably can't see it standing out from the rest of the tank, the train tank. I probably should have done this first, but that's okay, because you want to put the smokestack on top of Thomas. You'll have a rectangle this size. Put some glue on the back of it. Oh, I gotta mess with glue here. And now, if you wanted to just put it on top and let it stick out over the top, you could. I kind of wanted him to be underneath like that. I didn't want him to stick out the top, but I put my face on first, which I shouldn't have done. I did that backwards. But there, there's the start of my smokestack. Now I got this other little rectangle I want to put on top of there. So let me put some glue on. Put a swipe of glue on there and I'm going to put this at the top of my smokestack. <gasps> We're almost done. You just about have your Thomas done. Now you're gonna find two yellow circles. And according to my picture, I'm gonna put a yellow circle up here. And guess where the other one's gonna go? It's gonna go right over there. 
And I seem to be missing some pieces from mine. So I put some glue on there. I'll put it over here on this side. I seem to be missing some pieces. Oh, it's stuck. Nope. Well, in your kit, you're gonna have two more black circles, some smaller black circles, and they will go right inside of the yellow circles. And your Thomas will look, can I find it? Your Thomas will look something like this one. That one right there. <gasps> and you can have your very own Thomas the train. Now you can take Thomas up and down the tracks. Here comes Thomas the train puffing down the track. Now he's going forward. Now he's going back. Now his bell is ringing. Ding, ding, ding. Hear his whistle blow. Toot. What a lot of noise he makes everywhere he goes. I hope you had fun on our train ride today, our imaginary train ride. And check out some books. Come grab, get your grab and go bag so you can make your very own Thomas. And remember, last Saturday was train day. Find out some information you can learn about trains. It's time to do our goodbye part of the song. Time for me to be, get ready to do next week's story times. So let's say goodbye. Can I remember how it goes? I think it goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say, oops, that's hello. This is goodbye. Bye. Thanks for joining me. Choo-choo. Have a great day.